we are now going to go over how to make an initial visual check of the co-localization data by using the yellow display. To do that, we are going to open the image called wild type plus DNA image 30, C2 and C3, Z6. So this is actually um, the same subset of data that we created in the data wrangling section. So I'm going to drag this into Fiji to open it. Um, you can see that it is a single Z plane. There's no Z slider with two channels. Um, and so to look at the sort of yellowness as an indicator of the co-occurrence or co-localization of pixels of, of the different channels, we can switch to composite mode and yellow will be present uh, where there is overlap between red and green. So you can see that in this case, there isn't much yellow or it's hard to see. And that the reason for that is it depends on the brightness and contrast adjustments of each channel. Um, so right now I'm on the first channel, which is the red one. If I increase the maximum, that will reduce the red intensity. If I decrease the maximum, that will increase the red intensity. And you can see if I reduce it to this point, it becomes quite clear that there's overlap here. Uh, if we do the same for the green, you can see that if I increase the green channel, some overlap becomes evident here, but it blows out uh, this part. So this is how you manipulate the brightness and contrast to try to see yellowness. Uh, this is a, a useful tool to do a quick check of co-localization, but outside of obvious cases, it has very limited utility. There's an obvious downside to doing green and red, which is that this is not compatible with folks that are colorblind. And in that case, uh, because of that rather, uh, it's much more recommendable to use magenta uh, and green uh, as colors for display. So um, if we go to the color section and select the color that is currently in red, as I showed before in um, the first exercise, we can switch that to magenta. And when we switch to composite, the co-localized pixels, the pixels that overlap with the current display conditions will be shown in white. Uh, and again, how much white shows up really depends on the balance of how the different channels are displayed.